So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a beautiful day today here in Pennsylvania. Uh, before we get started today, I want to tell you about a comment that we got on a video this morning. It is probably my favorite comment that we have gotten since we started our YouTube channel. If you remember a while back, uh, we did a video with the neurosurgeon that did daughter Eva's brain surgery. It was a fascinating video. The guy's super intelligent, very passionate about what he does. If I remember, I'll put that video up above. But anyway, this morning, some guy commented that his granddaughter, 17 years old, uh, very active, and she was having a lot of problems with her feet, with her hands. Everything sounded very familiar, and they were trying to figure out what the problem was. So he told his daughter, about this Chiari malformation. Anyway, long story short, they got an appointment at a hospital, I think in Columbus, had the MRI, and they figured out what the problem was. So I thought that was very cool. We have an outdoor channel where we cut wood, we saw lumber, we build stuff, we dig stuff, and somebody watching this channel was able to help uh, their granddaughter, which I thought was fantastic. So this log here, uh, this is one of the ones that came from over at the neighbors. It's a uh, red oak, northern red oak. It's about uh, 17 inches in diameter, straight as an arrow. Should make some pretty decent lumber. Got one big knot right here on this side right here. But uh, besides that, it should be pretty clear. I'm gonna fire up the mill and we're gonna get this one squared up. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about this sawmill here and uh, what the plans are for it. So this sawmill, uh, this is a Wood Miser LX150. If you've been following our channel for a while, you're, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. But I've had this now for, let's see, this July will be three years that I've owned this mill. It's been a great mill, haven't had any problems with it. The only thing I'm not thrilled about is the uh, drive system for the power feed. It's on a rope. If it stays dry, I mean, it, it works. You just have to adjust it. That's literally the only minor issue i've had with it works great you can saw up to a 36 inch log with it it is a manual mill though although it has power feed power up and down 
all the log turning uh, you do by hand or the real big logs I use the excavator now many of you also know that a while back I ordered a new sawmill I ordered a Woodmiser LX 450 which is the same design as the 150 but shortly after I ordered it I made a change I decided to go with the LT 50 and it is fully loaded I think I got just about every option you can get on it including the diesel engine it's a real production machine and uh, you'll understand in a few weeks uh, why I ordered that machine but anyway I ordered that new sawmill and as far as when it's coming I'm not really sure I would say best case scenario probably late summer early fall we'll have to see uh, i'm kind of in a wait and see mode like everybody else that has ordered sawmills but once i told everyone that i ordered a new sawmill i've got probably i'm not exaggerating here either probably 200 emails and plus a lot of comments and videos messages on facebook people wanting to buy this lx150 and i also have some friends uh, that i've known for years you know know people personally also some other youtube channels a lot of people want to buy this sawmill and to tell you the truth i don't even know what to do with it because somebody well actually there's a lot of people going to be upset that i didn't give them the opportunity to buy it and i really don't know how to handle it to tell you the truth so as for right now i have no idea what i'm going to do with this mill uh who knows we may do something interesting with it but we're just going to have to wait and see we have some time here uh like i said it'll probably be late summer early fall best case scenario before i get the new mill so for all of you that have been asking you know what i'm going to do with this mill once the new one comes in i don't know the answer to that right now but i'll keep you posted i'll keep you updated uh probably sometime july or august or something i'll have a better idea well i got this uh red oak squared up not too shabby a little bit of staining a few knots not as nice as uh, some of the ones i had We'll take a few more boards off it, flip it, see what it looks like. Northern Red Oak. And by the way, it's starting to uh, cloud up a little bit. Today was a nice day so far. Now tomorrow they're calling for rain again, like an inch of rain. And then uh, I think next week looks really good. Who knows, they may change the forecast, but it looks like it'll be dry next week. And I'll be able to get everything finished up down here at the wood yard. So I got, uh, what I get here? One, two, three, four, five more boards. Uh, these are 11 inches wide. Pretty nice stuff. Now the center of this log, the pith, it was kind of off center. I'll show you what I mean on the end.
here's the center of that log right here so I got way more lumber on this side of it it was offset the whole way through the log I don't know if you can see that or not so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stack these uh, five boards right here turn this on edge and just take a couple pieces of uh, probably eight quarter or something around that center got things cleaned up a little bit have a bunch of lumber here to stack and sticker maybe this evening Melissa will come down and give me a hand doing that that usually works out to be about the only time we argue whenever we stack and sticker lumber together it usually goes something like just move that board in just a little bit it's fine no it's not just move it in a little it's fine no it's not that's usually how it goes when we stack and sticker lumber but anyway we got some uh, lumber sawed up this afternoon and that is the story on the Woodmiser LX 150 don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet uh, for all of you that have emailed me just stay tuned that's all I can say we'll figure something out come July or August and uh, we'll go from there but I do like the sawmill. It's been a good mill, but I'm looking for something to do a lot more production sawing. And like I said, you'll understand why here in just a few weeks. I wish I could tell you what's going on. I just can't right now. I really wish I could, but you'll see. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. I really appreciate you being here, and we'll catch you on the next one.